Hello world, welcome to the 106th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the second video in my Amazon price analysis playlist. And if this is the first video you're watching in my playlist, then the purpose of this program is basically to automate um, getting prices uh, for my youngest son who is now into Pokemon cards again. So in the previous video, we set up our program's access to Google Sheets because that's where we're going to be storing the URL and all the data to Google Sheets. And in this video, we're going to get the Amazon URLs from pages that my son wants me to track. And these are the pages of the Amazon products, uh, Pokemon cards that he uh, finds interesting. So first, let's see how this program works. So when I run it, it's going to open up a web browser. All right, and it's going to go straight to Amazon and we've already searched for Pokemon cards. And then he just basically it says uh, search for a card you like. Uh, type Y and then enter when you find a card you like and then press Q to quit. So let's say he's interested in these assorted cards, 50 pieces. All right. And so what we're going to do is this is the URL up here. Now, I just want this portion of it all the way up into this ref. So this is a huge long, not on this one. But once we start navigating through Amazon, the URL gets larger and larger as it starts collecting data on us. And that's what the big tech companies use to kind of sell our data um, is how we navigate through their site. So I just want this portion of it. So let's say he's interested in this. Uh, he just presses Y. All right. And then um, let's say he goes back. And let's say he's really interested in these reverse foil single cards. And as you can see, the link URL is huge now. We don't want all that, right? So look how large that is. We just want up to this ref, so basically that. Okay, so let's say yes to this one. All right, let's do one more. I don't know. This one looks good. It's round. So let's say he wants this as well. So let's press Y for this one. Okay, and then let's press Q to quit. And what I've done, this is just for you, is uh, the watcher is I've printed out the URLs that we picked up. Now in the console, it can't figure out that this is a URL because of the funny E that the person put in there but the rest of these you can see these are the URLs and let's close this and let's click on one of these and it uh, maybe it doesn't like me clicking on the console but let's copy and paste this and see what it does there you go takes you directly to that and we're going to be using these URLs to store it on our access, our Google Drive and then get all the data that we need from there. So let's clear this. Uh, an another thing I did was uh, added some errors in there. Um, good programmer knows that you have to know that your user, in this case my son, will try to break it. So let's say there's no web browser open. So let's say he says, yes, I like that. Uh, says there's no window open. Okay, so added some error functionality in there. And then I added no, nothing into the URLs list. All right. So that's the code, kind of simple. Um, right now we're just saving it to a variable that only lasts while we're running the program. So we would have to export that to our Google Sheets to save it. All right, now let's run through the code. Um, we used GSpread and OAuth2 client in our previous video, so watch that here by clicking this card here uh, if you haven't yet. Then we imported, uh, so for this video we're going to import web browser. So web browser is a uh, custom, or is part of your standard library, I believe. 
Um, then we'll use pywin auto to get the URL. So uh, you'll need to pip install that by going to the command prompt. And then we're going to declare this empty list. URLs equals an empty list. All right. So this Google Drive function is what we did in the previous video. So I'm going to skip that. Um, I'm actually going to go down. Uh, we're going to cover this function called find card URL and this get card selection shortly. So the very first thing we're going to do is web browser dot open and then that's the Amazon link and we've already searched on Pokemon cards and then it's going to print search for a card you like and then we're going to assign a card selection equals get card selection so let's run up here to this get card selection so this is going to get the user's input as you saw from me typing in Y or Q so card selection equals input then this is what we uh, our instructions to in my case my son or the user dot lowercase that way I don't have to worry if he has caps locks on and pushes Y and then if the car selection equals Y equals equals Y then we're going to uh, find the cards URL all right and once we find that URL then we're going to append it we're going to append this URLs which we defined up here it's an empty list dot append we're going to append this cards URL. Okay, if I press in Q, then it's just going to return Q. So if I typed in Y, it's going to get the URL, append it to our um, list, your URLs list, and then return that URL. Or I'm, I'm sorry, return the card selection, which is Y or Q. Okay, so while the card selection equals equals y we're going to keep asking the user um so while this one i'm sorry while this one equals y then we're going to keep asking the user or my son the same question so this is kind of recursion kind of and while it does not equal y so if the card does not equal y so anything else it's going to break the program so in my case, I typed in Q, but the person could have typed in anything, and it will break the while loop, print any URLs that you have, and then say, all right, goodbye. But if they select yes, right, so we're going to ignore that if and go to the else, it's going to pass, right? So it's going to go come back up here, and it's going to keep running this card selection. And each time it runs the card selection, it's going to do this function called find card URL. So this find card URL is, is in a try and accept right here. So this is not my original code. And where I got it, I just copy and pasted it and I forgot to get the link of where I found it. So whoever figured out this code, thank you. But basically, I'm not going to go into it, but basically you're saying, hey, in this Chrome Right, the application that you have open, if it's Chrome, go to the address and search bar. Now, when I was Googling this, just know if this is Firefox, this is called something else. If this is DuckDuckGo, this is called something else. So this is specific to Chrome. Then we're going to get the top window. So whatever is the active window, we're going to get the URL. And we're just going to get the value of it then I'm going to split it like I said into a split URL equals ref so I want to split it at that part portion so it'll have two um, items in this code right here so it's going to split it into a list with two indexes the first index is the URL that we want the second index or the first the zero with index or the first index or the first the one index or the second part of it we just want the first one so that's the split URL zero so for some reason this code strips off this portion of it and just starts at Amazon so I'm adding this I'm concatenating this back to this right here and then we're going to return that tiny URL and you saw that down here when I printed the URLs um, 
Now, if you get this element not found, which means there is no window open, it's going to say there's no window open. And don't forget, you need to import that specific error. There's other errors that I just didn't run into. If you are a uh, tester, that is your job is to uh, break the system. We can import uh, element ambiguous error, match error. So that's your job as a tester. This is just going to be my son, not a commercial product. All right, so it's just going to keep running this code over and over. And then it's going to append to our URLs until the person presses anything else except for Y, because that will break our loop, right? If it's not Y, then it's going to keep running this loop. Then at the end, we print the URLs and then we say, all right, goodbye. Now, once we uh, finish the program, you know, in the next video, I'm going to remove this print URLs. And then the next portion will be to uh, save each URL into a new row into our Google Sheets. And then in the next video, we're going to use Selenium to navigate to each URL and scrape the data and store it in our Pokemon uh, Google Sheet that we created in the previous video. And then each day we will track the prices and do some price analysis off of it. So I hope you subscribe to my channel so you can continue watching this playlist or please subscribe to my channel to continue watching me build my own digital assistant named Jarvis or Shane. And uh, please like this video. Leave a comment if you are doing something similar or have done something similar. Uh, when I posted the previous video on Reddit, there seem to be quite a few people who have done this already for Magic the Gathering cards. But my son's not into that, so we'll just stick to Pokemon. So thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.